Hello, Brian. Well, 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 if it isn't my old partner in crime, Nick. It was inevitable we would meet again, especially after we did that job four years ago. How could I ever forget? It was the biggest job we ever pulled off. That you ever pulled off. You just used me and the rest of the gang to get the money for yourself. Then you took our getaway car and left us for the cops to scoop up and ship off to prison. Should have seen it coming, Nick. I'm a tricky man. I just got out of prison yesterday. I served three years in that hellhole because of you. And now it's time for me to take back my fair share. And how much would that be? Everything. Hold your horses, boys. Traveler. Say my name, but don't wear it out. What are you doing here? We haven't seen you since we ordered that job four years ago. Brian screwed us both over when it came to that job. I, too, also served three years in prison. Little did you know, I was spying on you the entire time. I said, hey, why not get on the action and take all the money? You're a two-time bastard, Trevor, you know that? Say my name, but don't wear it out. Well, in that case... Hello, Trevor. Jonathan? Jonathan? We thought you were dead. Yeah, last time we saw you was when we did that job four years ago. Right after Trevor shot you in the spine after you opened up the safe. I know. I've been in a county state hospital for three years recovering from that wound. Little did you know that when I escaped the hospital, I hacked the security cams of the prison cell walls, watched Trevor spy on Nick, always planning this whole get up to hold up Brian. And now I finally have all three of you right in front of me, so I can execute my long awaited revenge. Not so fast, hot shot. Cameron? Who the hell is Cameron? I don't think I know a Cameron. Cameron and I fought in Vietnam 40 years back. We served two tours together to be exact. Could have been a great friendship if you didn't leave me in that battlefield to rot and die. Half your torso was gone. I could only assume that you were going to die in a matter of minutes. You were wrong! You left me for dead! So I constructed the missing chunks of my torso with mud and banana leaves. And now, today, I've come to return the favor. Speaking of favors... Terry. Who's Terry? It's been a while, Terry. Last time I saw you was when we were neighbors in Alabama for two years. For 35 years I've been holding a vendetta against you, ever since you had an affair with my wife. She was lonely. She needed a man's touch. And you put your business matters in front of your own spouse. I was only gone on that business trip for three days. When I found out she cheated on me with you, I divorced her on the spot. You ruined my life! And now I'm going to ruin yours by taking it away from you. You're a damn hypocrite, Terry. Philip. My ex-business partner. I'm surprised you still remember me. I would've thought you forgot all about me when you signed the contract that terminated my position as CEO of the company that we built together. You were a weak link, Philip. I had to let you go. Yeah? Well, since then I've lost everything. I'm homeless, and it's all because of you. Now it's time to sign your contract. A contract of death. Can't let you do that, Philip. Terry manages all my accounts and banking. If you kill him, you're going with him. You can go to hell. I'm not putting my gun down. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Keep dreaming, boys. Not a chance in hell. Well, boys, looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned Mexican standoff. So how's this going to go down? I'll tell you how it's going down. It's going down with a bullet in your head. Oh, you should be the one that's talking. Shut your pie hole, Terry. To be honest, I don't think you have the right to be talking to that man that way. After all, you're responsible for his relationship disintegrating. Shut up, I have no beef with you. Would you be quiet over there? I'm trying to focus you. I hate to say it, Phil, but I'm not going to let you pull that trigger. I need this money, and I'm not going to let you screw up my plans just for your measly revenge. If you pull that trigger, none of us get the money. I don't give a rat's patoot about no stinking money. This is about dignity and pride. Something none of you know nothing about. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. He's right. The man's right. We have no honor. At least the Lord knows I don't. Terry, I'm sorry I had an affair with Sharon. And I'm sorry that things turned out the way they did. I accept my responsibilities and respect what you're doing. That means a lot, Cameron. I respect that. Terry. I also got something to say. No, I do. Cameron has made me realize my wrongdoings. I should have never have signed that contract. If it weren't for me, we'd still be partners sipping on crisp champagne in our old office together. And I'm sorry I did what I did. It was wrong, and your forgiveness would mean a lot. Terry. I had an affair with Sharon as well. Ooh. That's messed up. You son of a bitch. I'm sorry, Terry. After you signed that contract, I was heartbroken. The only way I could think to get back to you was to sleep with your wife. Today, I came here with a vendetta to kill Cameron. But now, I come here to kill both him and you. And the thing
think you're the one giving us lectures about honor. Oh, look who's talking. The guy that shot me in the back. Not in the face, not in the gut, in the back. Yeah, Trevor. Seriously? That's a dick move. Oh, shut up. You're the one who stole the getaway car. That's the equivalent of shooting somebody in the back. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to disagree with that one. Oh, are you? Well, let me ask you guys a question. What do you think's worse, getting shot in the back or having your whole left torso being blown to bits? Exactly. You got a point. Now only if we can get Sharon's opinion on this. You bastard. Wait, Sharon. What's Sharon's last name? Esberg. Who had an affair first? I had an affair five years before Cameron. Why do you ask? Sharon Esberg is my mother. She told me that she had two affairs way back when. One with her next door neighbor, and one with her husband's ex-business partner. Which means that you're my father. And you're my son. You bastard. You're the one who left my mom and I to live a cruel life. That's why I took up that job four years back, the one we all did. I'll kill you! Wait, did she say anything about having another son? Yeah, she did. Wait a minute. I'm an orphan. I never knew who my parents were, but my foster parents told me that my father was a war hero. And I'm five years younger than Trevor, which would make Cameron your father. And if we both have the same mother, then that makes us stepbrothers. Why, Sharon, why? Why have you hidden all of this away from me? Because it's obvious. She didn't love you. Why do you do that? Who, me? No, you. Why do you talk to yourself? What are you talking about? This whole entire time, you just switch sides and talk to yourself. And I'm sick and tired of it. You guys are making no sense. Tell him, Nick. Yeah, you guys are making no sense. You just did it again. You have a problem. Shut up, he's fine. Yeah, leave him alone. That's suspicious. Why are you guys jumping to my defense all of a sudden? Because, man, you're a friend. You're you're my stepbrother. Something fishy's going on here. Yeah, something fishy's going on here. He did it again. Yeah, I noticed it too. Nick, is there something you want to tell me? I don't know if you can handle the truth. What the hell are you talking about, Nick? Have you ever noticed how me and you share many similarities? Why do you think that? I have no idea, Nick. Why don't you tell me? Go ahead and ask them if they can see me. Fine. Hey guys, can you see Nick? Who the hell is Nick? If they can't see me, what does that make me? A uh, figment of my imagination? What the hell is going on here? Trevor, our plan is foiled. What are you talking about? Before we did that job four years back, Jonathan and I cooked up a little plan. We knew about your plan of stealing the getaway car, so we cooked a little potion together. But instead, the potion had an alternate effect on you. You seem to have created a split personality by the name of Nick. Since then, we've been trying to keep it a secret from you in hopes that you would never find out that we were working together to kill you. How dare you! Planning on killing your own brother! Step brother. You plan on poisoning my son? How dare you? Thanks, Dad. Get that gun away from my son, Cameron. Your beef is with me now. Thanks, Dad. Where did you buy such stupid chemicals to try to poison me? We bought a chemicals from a low-key business called Biosafe Chemicals. We bought it from a masked man. He said the chemicals would kill you, but clearly we got ripped off. Biosafe Chemicals? I was the CEO of that company. But you were fired, which means Terry was the masked man who sold us the chemicals. You made me crazy! And I could have gotten away with it if it weren't for you guys and your big mouths. Leave my son out of it. Yeah, leave my son out of this too. Your sons? You wouldn't even have sons if it weren't for my wife. I didn't even get the chance to tell her how much I loved her before she died. What?! None of you knew about this? I haven't spoken to my mother in years. She worked at a county state hospital part-time. She was killed after a convicted patient stabbed her while trying to escape. Oh, shit. Jonathan, you killed my mom. You killed our mom? You killed my wife? You killed our mistress? You bastard.